we have a lot to discuss in this video. And oh, I'm about to go off. And it's gonna be great. In this situation, you not wanting this person just uh, destroys them. It just, it just breaks them down from pillar to post. Uh, uh. We are living in a time that is very, very unique compared to what this world used to be. Everything used to be What's in front of you is what's in front of you, and that's the only thing that's ever going to be. Now that we have phones, it's caused so much chaos, so much sneaky stuff, so much cheating, so much of all of this stuff. It's caused ungratefulness, the sneaky stuff, Dishonesty, no more loyalty. <laughs> I was talking with a with a friend about this today. Women today literally have boyfriends. They hide him on social media. On purpose. On purpose. She might post him just to test the waters to see what's going to happen. If it don't go over well, if it hurts her little following, if it hurts her attention from other men, she will disable that. She will take it back. She will delete it. Everything with her guy is gone, but she's still with him. Women today have hidden boyfriends, basically like a little puppy on the side, but she wants the attention from all the other male lions over there. She has this little guy she has under control, but she wants all the attention from the other lions over there. <laughs> this is an ungrateful woman. This is an ungrateful person. Like, you could give them the world. They won't be happy. You could give them planet Earth. They won't be happy. It won't be enough. Nothing will ever be enough. They probably have something pretty damn good. It's not enough. She needs more. And if you don't acknowledge her existence... If you don't feed into her existence and pour into her and give her that attention and validation to boost her ego up to make her feel like she's that girl. <laughs> she gon' hates you for that, G. She wants that from you. She wants that from you. They all do. There are certain people, bro, you should not be giving your time and attention to. Same with the women. There are certain men you should not be giving your time and attention to. Save it. Save it for the right person. Because they're clearly not the right person. I'm telling you full well right now. Do not give the wrong people just to benefit them. Anything to do with what's valuable, what you have. Don't even look at them. Don't do nothing. Just blank them. Humble them because that's what it does. Don't feed into them. You're feeding into a black hole of nothing. 
That's a greedy woman. That's a greedy person. I cannot respect people like that. You're a sneaky human doing sneaky things. They want their needs met every way around the board to the point where it gets greedy. You can't have the best of every world. I can't. You can't. Nobody really can or should. But a lot of greedy people want the best of every single world. And they're the most miserable, conniving, evil people on the planet. I kid you not. They are. People who is easily grateful for the smaller things are the people that are the most well off. Unlike these greedy little corpses. Don't feed them. Don't do anything to them. Don't acknowledge their existence. Just stop. It's not like you're, you're doing it on purpose to just play this game, bro. Cut them clean. You ain't playing a game. Cut them the clean. Teach them a lesson. You, you're not having the best of every world. Greedy. You ain't having all this. People want to benefit from your existence. People want to benefit from your existence when you don't benefit from their existence. Stop benefiting people's existence when they don't benefit your existence. Stop it. This is the way every friendship, relationship, family dynamic should be. It should be that way with your damn pet. They keep you great company. They're a great pet. You have a wicked bond. You love them to death. The dog loves you to death. You, 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 you take care of it. You feed it. You give it water. You give it shelter. You take it for walkies. Get out the treaties. You buy a toys. You play with your dog. You invest more amounts of money into your dog to feed it even better food so it can be even more jacked of a dog. Stop feeding into people's existences that's just taking from you because they're greedy. They just want your validation. They just want you to like what they do. They just want you to do something towards them to make them feel like you care about them. Stop caring about them. Cut them clean. They don't care about you. They're only in it for themselves. They're not in this for you. Sometimes they might make it seem that way. Sometimes some of these chicks, they might make it seem that way. Just so you will acknowledge their existence, bro. These types of greedy people hate it when you don't acknowledge their existence at all. They hate it. But I'm not your husband. I'm not your boyfriend. I'm not even your damn friend. <laughs> but they still want your acknowledgement because it makes them feel good. All for them, right? That makes me feel good. Hmm. Their existence makes me feel good. I don't need nobody's existence to make me feel good. Nobody's. <laughs> they care far too much about others' validation because it just, it boosts them up. I don't feel anything from validation. I don't feel anything from anything. Like, I, I, I just don't. If someone compliments me at the gym, it don't warm my heart and make me feel, oh my, like, bro, <laughs> everything you're saying is all what I already know. If someone says, oh, you're strong, I know I'm strong. I'm not saying this because I'm just some cocky, like, I'm pretty fucking strong. 
Yeah. I've only been busting my ass for the last 10 years. Of course you're gonna be strong. You're telling me something I already know. It doesn't warm my heart. It don't. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. If someone compliments me in the gym, I don't feel anything. As, like, and it's not because I'm some cold person or whatever. Like, bro, I really don't feel anything towards that. I just don't. I don't care about it. That's why. That's what I'm saying. These individuals, bro, they care far too much about others outlooks on them, opinions, whatever. I don't look into things. People look into things too much. People look into things way too much. I don't look at my own stuff. I don't look at my own stuff. I do what I do, I don't look at it. I don't stare back at it. I'm always doing things, I don't stare back at what's already done. Useless. I just keep doing more. I just keep doing more. <laughs> Some girl will post something out. She'll make sure every guy saw it, every guy acknowledged her, every guy did this, every guy did that, while she has a boyfriend. In my opinion, this is borderline cheating. I never said it is cheating. But it's damn borderline cheating. You're trying to feel something from other males' existences while you have a boyfriend? <laughs> males are the ones that's supposed to be cheating and all this stuff, right? According to studies and all this other bullshit. Bro, whenever I had a girlfriend, I was at a cottage party. With blondes, I had the opportunity to get with either one or the other. There was two options. They asked me which one I wanted tonight. Because there was a certain amount of guys and there was a certain amount of girls. And that's what was there. That's what was offered. Guess what I did? None. Because I had a girlfriend. Switch roles, I wouldn't be surprised if a woman cheated. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not just saying this because I'm a man. I really believe men like don't cheat as much as women and don't want to as much as women. I think men are far easily more satisfied than women. I think it's far harder to satisfy women over a man. We are easy easy because we can already satisfy ourselves women are the definition of not being able to satisfy themselves you can call me whatever you want for saying this stuff <laughs> it is what it is women are meant to take women are takers they are meant to extract resources they are meant to take because us men we go out there and we we get it we get after it we can create we can we can bring in resources women take them it's harder to go out there to get after things in life and to actually acquire it it's easy to just sit around and take it when it's already there women do what's easy men do what's hard we are we are far more grateful human beings mark my words we are <laughs> mark my words we are this isn't a my opinion, bro, this is, this is a fact. We are far easier to please. And I, I, I just, <laughs> you know, these people hate it, bro, when you don't give them what they want. I tell you guys in videos all the time, do not feed the black holes of nothing. Don't. Some of you guys are on Instagram liking bikini fit pictures bikini models they don't even know you're alive what are you doing you follow some of these big ass people and these girls and stuff they don't know who you are they don't even see your name in particular they just want a bigger amount of likes it's all about feeding that black hole that never feels satisfied
You're never going to satisfy them. Bro, these girls can have the perfect guy in a relationship with. They're not being satisfied. They're not. They're going to have it for a while. They're going to feel some sort of chemistry. And then it's not going to feel the same anymore. And they're going to look over here at the other male lions, which is yourself. They're going to be looking at you and they want your attention. They want you to acknowledge them. They want to feel more better alive because this guy ain't doing it for them anymore. And they're just always going to, they're always in their feels, right? They want to feel something. They just want to feel something. But if you just keep making them feel something, you have to keep making them feel something. It's like a drug addict. If you give them, if they're already addicted to cocaine and you keep giving them the cocaine, they're going to thank you for it right then. They're all, oh, thank you, man. And they do another line and all of a sudden they're looking at you again. You got another line, bro? You got another line, bro? They want another line. Because this psychopath is addicted to cocaine. They don't want another line, bro. Already. This is what it's like. Grateful people that need the least are my favorite. Ungrateful people, my least favorite. Get away from me. You are toxic. You are disturbing my own mind. Because I know how disturbed you are. Drug addicts, they're disturbed people. People like that who are ungrateful. Now, I'm not saying all women are like this because there's women in relationships that respect their man that don't do this. But these types of women, bro, especially in this modern age, they're just fooling around, messing around. They got a boyfriend, but they're not really taking it serious. They don't even know who they are. They're going over here. They want all this attention from these other guys, but they still want the boyfriend. They still want this. They still want that. It's like they're ungrateful. You see what I'm saying here? They're ungrateful. They're not grateful for anything ungrateful it don't matter what you do for them it don't matter how many times you talk to them it don't matter how much you feed into them it's never going to be enough it'll never be enough ever these are people men or women you don't want in your life you don't want friends like this you don't want women like this you don't want your girlfriend to be like this you don't want your boyfriend to be like this you don't want friends to be like this family members you don't want no one in your life that is like this nobody it's only gonna take from your life it's either going to piss you off. It's either going to make you look stupid. It's either going to devalue you. It's going to do something that's negative to your life. Not positive. Stop making people's lives greater when it makes yours worse. This is what you have to understand because these people are incapable of making their own life great themselves. And if you can make your life great yourself, you're a main target for these people. They're coming after you because you have greatness within. That's why they want your attention. That's why they want your validation. That's why they want these things from you. Because they don't feel anything themselves. They could have a boyfriend. <laughs> they still want more. They still want more. There's, they still want more. There's people in the world with far less than these types of people. And they are far happier. Far more grateful. Doing way better. And they have, they have far less. But they're doing far better at the same time. How does this make sense? You have to remain grateful in the moment in this life. And let me tell you, like I said, when you stop... feeding into these people you're going to see how enraged they get they will delete their boyfriends off their pages if it starts to diminish their like count it's the same guys they ain't viewing their stories or liking their Instagram posts anymore delete the guy we gotta delete the boyfriend now you're, you're a disrespectful person 
That is devaluation of your own boyfriend. So-called boyfriend, right? You're going to take that away so you <laughs> can hopefully receive more attention and validation from other men. That's not even your boyfriend. Oh my goodness. Ungrateful. You don't deal with people like this. Empty black holes of nothing. Nothing. There's nothing there. <laughs> it's only going to rob you. That's all it's going to do. It's going to rob you. They love you because you can fill them up. That's why they love you. You know why a uh, cocaine addict loves you when you give them a line? Because you fill them up. That's the only reason why they love you. It's because you fill them up. They don't love you for you. They don't even love themselves. How can they love you? They only love that you can fill them up and make them feel, 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 feel. That's what they love from you. That you can make them feel. They don't love you. They don't love them themselves. Go ahead, though. <laughs> don't take my advice. No. Hey, guys, go ahead. Go ahead. Go give the cocaine addict more cocaine. He's going to come right back. Go give the homeless guy more coin. He's going to come back again. And you know what he did with your coin? He went and bought some drugs. That's why he's homeless. You see what I'm saying? Go give that a girl. That's not even your girlfriend. That's not, that's not even single. She's not even single. Go and give her more attention and validation and make her feel good. Go right ahead. <laughs> Go right ahead. It's going to benefit you, bro. Yeah, go ahead. No. You're feeding a black hole of nothing. You might see some pretty girl on the outside. It's a fucking black hole of nothing. Nothing. So don't do it. Be smart.